Hello. The book that I'd like to talk about today is Six and Lose the Three Body Problem. Now, this is an amazing science fiction novel from a perspective that is not usually seen um, in science fiction novels that at least I've read. Uh, Six Sin Lu, or as he's known in his native China, Lu Six Sin, is one of the biggest names in Chinese science fiction. He's won swathes of awards in his homeland, and he won the Hugo Award for this particular novel. And this is a novel that I just found absolutely enthralling. Uh, interestingly enough, it actually made me curious about maths. And considering my history with mathematics, I mean, I don't even want to tell you what I scored in year 11 maths. Uh, that's saying something. Uh, because the three-body problem itself is this concept where you have three suns in a solar system all rotating around each other. And their gravitational pull and the way they slingshot each other around means that it's nearly impossible to predict where they'll go or what they'll do. And Six and Lou, um, comes up with this idea of how a civilization might survive or not survive living in a solar system with three crazy suns flying around all over the place. And while he's exploring this um, idea in a virtual reality, uh, behind that and prior to that, he's also exploring some of the events of the Chinese Cultural Revolution. And so we see some of China's recent history played out in the novel while he's also exploring these other ideas. And it's just amazing, particularly because you know, Sixin Lu himself was born in 1963, so he and his family experienced a lot of the Cultural Revolution and, of course, the aftermath. So he brings a uniquely Chinese perspective on those events that's really interesting and, and educational. Uh, furthermore, I really loved that the book is largely set in China and um, a lot of the protagonists and characters are, of course, Chinese, which sets it apart from the uh, main body of, of science fiction novels that I've read, where, you know, usually you're looking at characters that live in London or New York and they're American, they're British, occasionally Australian, occasionally French or something like that. That. So it's quite interesting to see science fiction uh, written uh, with characters from that different culture, um, you know, behaving as, as they would with that cultural background and forming them. Uh, so it's just an amazing novel, uh, explores all sorts of ideas about um, civilization and first contact and whether or not there are aliens out there and, you know, big questions. Um, it's just an amazing book. There's uh, two other books in the trilogy. Uh, we have all three of them here at Brimbank Libraries, so uh, please feel free to request these items and we can get them to you. Um, so I hope you uh, hope you enjoy it, and um, if you have, I'd, if you do read it, I would love to hear what you think of The Three-Body Problem.